Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lesson 7, subqueries part 1. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to define subqueries and write a single row subqueries SQL. In SQL, subqueries enable us to find the information that we want. What if you wanted to write a query only to find out you didn't have all the information you needed to construct it? Then, you can solve this problem by using a nesting queries which you place one query inside the other query. That's what we call as subquery concept. The inner query is what we call as subquery. The subquery executes to find the information you don't know and the outer query will use that information to find out what you need to know. So before we go further into writing a subquery, let's take a look at the guidelines first. The first one is the subquery must be enclosed in a parenthesis. And usually the subquery is placed on the right side of the comparison condition. The outer and inner queries can get data from different table. Next, only one order by clause can be used for a select statement and if it used, it must be the last clause in the outer query. A subquery cannot have its own order by clause. The only limit on the number of subqueries is the buffer size the query uses. Besides that, a subquery executes once before the main query. And remember, subqueries can be placed in a number of SQL clauses including the WHERE clause, HAVING clause and the FROM clause. So this is the syntax of the subquery. If you take a look, the subquery is placed on the right hand side of the comparison operator inside the parenthesis. Okay. If you take a look, why we put inside the parenthesis? Because the subquery will be executed first before the main query. And the result of the subquery is used by the main query or outer query. Let's take a look at this example. We want to find employees which have salary greater than a bell's salary. So of course, we need to figure out a bell's salary first. So we do the SQL select salary from employees where last name equals to a bell. So if we take a look, the result from this query is 11,000 means the main task here we want to know which employees have salary greater than 11,000 so the main query will be select last name salary from employees where salary greater than the first SQL which is a bell salary so if we combine this query this is how it looks like Select last name, salary from employees, where salary greater than. Select salary from employees, where last name equals to a bell. So if we take a look here, the subquery is placed inside the parenthesis, means it will be executed first. And this is the result. All of the employees listed here have salary greater than 11,000, which is a bell's salary. So now let's take a look at this uh, subquery. Let's examine our subquery. If you take a look, inside my condition, where salary greater than, if you take a look inside the subquery, it is select salary. So means I compare salary to a salary. One column to another one column. Okay, the data type of the salary is number. The data type of select salary inside our, uh, inside our subquery is also a number. So, you need to compare one column to one column and compare number with number, character with character. If your subquery returns null, main query also will return null. Let's take a look at types of subquery. We have two types of subquery here. The first one is single row subquery and the second one is multiple row subquery. Single row subquery means your subquery returns only one row of result. And multiple row subquery means your subquery returns multiple row of result. So if you are using single row subquery, you need to use single row operator. Okay, these are the single row operators that can be used with single row subquery, which we have equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, and not equal to. Let's take a look on the implementation. 
Let's take a look on our first sub-query example here. We want to find employee who has job the same as Vargas. So of course, before, uh, as we know, in our HR schema here, there's a lot of employees who will have the same job designation. Okay. So by right, if you want to know who has the same job ID as Vargas, we need to find the job ID for Vargas first. For example, select job ID from employees where last name equals to Vargas. Okay. So if we execute this query, then we will know that job ID for Vargas is ST Club. Okay, so by right now we want to find all employee who has job ID equals to ST Club. So by right we will do something like this: select last name, job ID from employees where job ID equals to ST Club. So this is what we will do if we know the the result of uh, our subquery, isn't it? So these are all employees who has a uh, job ID as ST Clark. But we don't know what is the job ID for Vargas now. So something inside here, okay, something inside here is what we call as subquery. Okay, so now we have to find the job ID the same as Vargas. Okay, so we put it something inside here. So if you take a look here. Uh, we will. Uh, we should indent the subquery on the right hand side of the comparison operator. So this is the comparison operator. So put it on the right side. Okay. So if you take a look, our uh, subquery return how many rows of result? If we execute our subquery alone, how many rows of result they will get? Only one. So this is a single row subqueries. Your subquery return only one result. Okay, one row of result. And we use single row operator, which is equal here. Okay, so if we execute all of this, now we will find all employees who has the same job ID as Vargas. Let's take a look on the second example here. We want to find all employees from marketing department. So if we take a look here, uh, this is one of the ways that we can solve this problem using joint operations. Select last name, department name from employees, joint departments using department ID where department name equals to marketing. So if you execute this one, we will have all employees from department marketing. However, we can also solve this problem by using uh, subquery. For example, select last name, department ID from employees. Where department ID equals to now we want to find what is department ID for marketing department. Select department ID from departments where department name equals to marketing. Okay, so if you take a look here, we find what is the department ID for marketing so if we execute this one what is the result the result is 20 so how your orca server will execute this one will be select last name department id from employees where department id equals to result of this one which is 20 okay so now if we execute this one we have the same person they are coming from uh, department marketing okay so we have uh, a lot of ways in solving our query Okay, so we can use sub, sub query, we can use the joint operation, however, we still have the same result. So if you take a look here, we have two different sub queries. The first one is for job ID, the second one is for department ID. Okay, so let's take a look. Select last name, job ID, salary, department ID from employees, where job ID equals to, we want to know what is the job ID for employees one for one, and department ID equals to, Select department ID from departments with location equals to 1,500. So we want to know what is the department ID for location 1,500. So if we execute this one um, one by one, the subquery, the second one, the department ID is department ID equals to 50. Okay, let's take a look on the job ID here. The job ID, if we execute one by one, it will be ST Club. Okay, so what does it mean here? We want to find uh, all employees where job ID equals to ST Clark and department ID equals to 
150 because something inside the parentheses will be executed first by your Oracle server. But of course, we cannot see the uh, the intermediate result. Okay, what we can see is the final result. So actually, this SQL is trying to find all employees who has job ID equals to ST Clark and the department ID equals to 50. Okay, so let's run all together, and this is what we will. Okay, so these are these are all the employees who has job ID equal to ST Clark and the department ID equals to 50. So you can have multiple subqueries. This is still a single subquery. Why? Because this subquery return one row of result. This subquery also returns one row of result. So it is still considered as single row subquery. The subquery returns only one row of result. So let's take a look at another example here. We want to find all employees who has salary lower than average salary in the company. So by right, we want to find all employees who has salary lower than the average salary in the company. First of all, we need to find what is the average salary inside the company. So how to do it? Select average salary from employees. Okay, so uh, this, this is uh, the only SQL, select average salary from employees. So the average salary is 6,461.83. Okay, so now we want to find who has the salary lower than this value? Then how can we do it? Select last name and their salary from employees where salary less than this average salary. Okay, salary less than this average salary. Okay, so if you take a look. If your salary is lower than six thousand four hundred and sixty-one dollars eighty-three cents here, you will be listed in table result. Okay, so let's execute all together. So these are all uh, employees who has a uh, salary lower than the average salary inside the company. So what if I said find all employees who has the lowest salary? Okay, the lowest salary in the company. Lowest salary. Okay, in the company. So now, how to find the lower salary? So we change this one into minimum. Select minimum salary from employees. So if you execute this one, so this is the lowest salary inside the company, 2000, uh, 2100. So who has who has salary equals to lower salary? So this one we change into equal. Okay. So if you execute, okay, Olsen, uh, is the employee who has the lower salary inside the company? Okay, so this is means we can use also the group function in the in the subquery. If you take a look, even though we have group function, this one is still considered as single row subquery. Why? Because the subquery returns only one row of result. Clear? So let's take a look at another example here. Find all departments that has minimum salary greater than minimum salary of department 50. So now our first task is we need to find what is the minimum salary of department 50. So let's select, select minimum salary from employees where department ID equals to 50. So if we execute this one, then we will know what is the minimum salary for department 50. So if you execute, the minimum salary of department 50 is 2100. So now we want to find we want to find minimum salary for all of the department. So what can we do? We select uh, department ID, department ID and their minimum salary from employees from employees okay so if you take a look we select a group function with non-group function what do we need to have we need to have a group by clause group by what the non-group function which is the department id okay group by department id so if we execute this one we will have all of the department and their minimum salary but now we want the minimum salary must be greater than minimum salary of department 50. So what can we do? We have a condition, isn't it? Okay, where minimum salary greater than this minimum salary of department 
50 okay so if we take a look here so let's paste first the SQL so if you take a look here this query cannot be executed why okay cannot be executed why take a look our condition now involving group function minimum salary so this is a group function so we cannot use where clause we to use having clause okay having minimum salary greater than minimum salary of department 50 so if you execute this one these are all departments that has minimum salary greater than minimum salary of department 50 so remember we also can use subquery for the having clause as long as your subquery returns uh, one row of result we can use a single row operator over here so you can use your subquery at um, at select clause at from clause at where clause having clause so it's up to it's up to what do you want to find so let's take a look at, at this example we want to find employees who has the same department as Hamis so if you take a look we want to select department ID for employees with last name equal to Hamis so if you execute this one there's no result why if you take a look select department id from employees where last name equal to hamis okay so if you execute this one there's no employees name hamis over here okay there's no employees name hamis over here so means your subquery returns null when your subquery returns null the main query also will return null values so that's why if you execute this one your uh, main query the whole query will return null over here okay so I guess that's all for now. See you again in the next part. Thank you.